the application I'm about to show you is literally the best application for those who are trying to major in math and uh, let me show you why <clears throat> so this app is called graph 89 and uh, it comes in two different versions the paid version and the free version uh, the difference between the paid and the free version is that with the paid version you can have a uh, about seven or eight different calculators with the free version you are only limited to two calculators okay and uh let me see which one this is yeah so this is the first uh, i mean this is the paid version and as you can see i have about one two i have seven calculators here and uh the good thing about this you can also have uh, uh multiple instances of uh, the same calculators so the first one I have here is a TI-89 Titanium. I can have uh, 2, 3, 5, 20 instances of the same calculators just in case I want to do some testing, you know. And uh, on top of that, it also has uh, uh, some more features such as uh, being able to change the color of the LCD. But I don't really mess with that because uh, I just think uh, those are, I don't know, it's kind of gimmicky. I don't know if you can tell the difference on the camera, but... Uh, you can uh, spot some dots, some pixels on the LCD to make it look more genuine, to make it look like uh, the real deal. But I prefer uh, having uh, the solid color because, I mean, it will make sense to have it that way on a cell phone. Let's go ahead and change that really quick. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go through all the calculators to show you what you get. So, by the way, this is a full-blown calculator. So, everything your TI-89 Titanium can do, this one can do it even better. Because since you are uh, running, you, you it's, a, it's in a virtual environment, this is going to be a lot faster than uh, the real one. Okay, and uh, it has uh, all the, uh, all the uh, features. You have all your functions for algebra, calculus. Yeah, you got everything here. And, uh, yep. Okay, so this is the first one. And, by the way, you can have this uh, in portrait mode. As you can see, it works well. You can adjust uh, the size of the calculators by going through the settings. Let's see. Screen scale, 8. Let me turn this off. You see, you can play with it. You know, make, make, make it look uh, the way you want it to look. And if you close the screen... You can resume it here as well see this is dope i've been using this application for since 2014 now nah, since 2015 i believe yeah since 2015 so it's been about five 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 years now a little less than six years with that being said okay so let me go ahead and put the settings back to normal oh, oh what did i do okay Okay, looks like the app is now uh, well optimized for uh, this uh, phone. It's a it's a fairly old app, but uh, it works pretty well. Let's see, it's just now well optimized. As you can see, whenever okay, let me try something. Let me just put the settings back to normal. And by the way, this is the first time he's doing this. Uh, he's acting this way on camera. I guess <laughs> there's a first time for everything, huh? Let's see. Zoom mode on. Just gonna put the scaling to full. Switch it back. And I'm gonna try a different one. The TI-89. This is the regular one. And uh, the difference between the 89 and the titanium is that the titanium has uh, more memory and more storage. And the titanium also have uh, has it also has uh, like uh, some more functions. Uh, the one I can uh oh, it looks like every time I got my hands over here, the the screen turns off. It looks like uh, there might be like a sensor. I don't know why. It, why, why is that? Okay, let me pause this video really quick and try to figure out what's going on. All right, I think I figured out. I'm kind of stupid because uh, this thing is so slippery. I don't wanna. Uh, I don't want to scratch it, so I decided to. I, I thought it would be a good idea to just uh, put it on the on top of my uh, Type S7 Plus, and uh, this thing has magnet in it. So, <laughs> so when I lay when I lay the uh, the phone here, it detects the magnet, and then the screen just uh, turns off. Wow, <laughs> it took me quite a while. It took me about that 45, 45 seconds to a minute to find figure it out. Okay, I guess let's just try to avoid the magnet. Let me pause the video and try to find something else. 
Okay, I just had to uh, uh, flip the tablet around. I think this is much better now. Okay, so yeah, what I wanted to show you is uh, uh, the thing that comes uh, that comes to my mind when it comes to uh, the differences between the two, the titanium and the, the regular 89 is, uh, let's see, let's just go to home. By the way, this video is not going to be in a specific order. This is just me going through, uh, through some of the features uh, the application has because I think yeah, this application deserves more attention because it's just incredible. Like like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are a math, math major, this is a must-have app. And uh, it's also a, a good app for college students, high school, why not? And uh, my favorite calculators of all time is uh, the 89 Titanium. I guess I'm kind of biased when it comes to uh, that particular model because it was my very first graphing calculators. And I just came to love that thing. Even with all the modern ones, the new ones, the HP Primes, the CX2 Cast, the Titanium is still my favorite one. It's not the fastest, but you know, I just love using it. I just love using it. Okay, so if you go to functions, uh, I mean, if you go to uh, the math menu, number, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, the last options here is uh, C, which is uh, GCD. And if we go back to uh, the Titanium, and we go to math number the last one is gonna be the root you see with the 89 you don't have root unfortunately and uh yeah even if you update the 89 to the latest firmware firm firmware it's still not gonna have that for some of those functions and i think root is one of them i can't i can't remember some of them but i believe there there, there, there should be more if anybody knows uh you can uh feel free to put in the comment section and uh okay so we already went through uh two calculators this is the 89 obviously and it is pretty much the same as uh the regular 89 i mean the 89 titanium with uh differences i mentioned such as rom ram and uh, some of the functions not being available okay now let's go to the big boy the voyage this is uh the most powerful legacy uh, tai calculators i believe the Voyage, again, the Voyage and the 89, 89 Titaniums, they're all the same. They are essentially the same. The Voyage is going to be the one that has uh, uh, the most storage and RAM, I believe. But again, it does not, not by much, not by much. Compared to the 89 Titanium, the Voyage is uh, it's going to have a bigger screen. And as you can see, it is also, uh, uh, it is pretty, pretty, pretty wide in person. It's, uh... It's uh it's definitely wider. It's definitely bigger, uh, longer than uh, this uh, phone right here, and uh, the reason for that is because of the keyboard layout and uh, all the extra keys you get, all the function keys all the way through uh, uh F8 and the uh, the keyboard's layout here, and this is great for if uh, you are going to make programs because uh, with the regular 89 and titanium, oh man, it's uh it's really time consuming making programs on those. Yeah, and uh, this is also uh, a good option, a good alternative to using like a PC, a computer. This is mobile. You can take this anywhere with you, wherever you want to go. And by the way, uh, making programs uh, uh, on this uh, on the 89 is uh, is also doable because you can always use uh, the keyboards. Let's see. Uh, let's say let, let, let me go to home. You can always uh, use the keyboards on your cell phone Let's see there should be an option. I can't seem to find it. There you go It's the very first one show keyboard and you can just uh, type everything So yeah, so with the phone there is uh, there's no handicap when it comes uh, when it comes to using uh, one calculators over another Okay, so now let's go. We already saw the voyage again the voyage and the uh, 89 families they they are pretty, they pretty much have the same function pretty much the same function and uh then uh, that's gonna take us to the voyage i mean i mean the 89 plus 92 plus 92 plus is as as you might have guessed is almost the same thing as the voyage but uh the voyage is uh newer this is uh, older this is comparable to the regular 89 because it, it doesn't it does not have uh the root function either you see here unfortunately 
And again, this thing can do pretty much anything you throw at it. Yeah, and uh, it is going to be a lot faster than the normal one because uh, cell phones are just faster than calculators. And uh, even though this is uh, an, em an emulation, it's still going to be a lot faster than the real deal. Uh, let me just show you a quick example of what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just go and grab, make a 3, uh, 3D graph. I haven't used this in such a long time. Uh, let's see. I believe we have to change the mode to from function to 3D. Yeah, let's see. That was fairly easy. And uh, let's just uh, do, uh, let's see, SQ plus x square let's just do a x cube graph so you hit diamond key and graph you see how quick that was if this would have been a, a regular 89 titanium or even a, if this would have been any uh, any of the physical ones it would have taken a quite, quite quite a bit you see and this is so fast that this is uh you wouldn't you are never gonna see uh, a 3d graph moving this fast on a, on a physical calculus on a ti oh i exited by mistake let's see mm. see it's still going okay and you can stop this anytime you can go to home anytime and one weird thing something that i find really weird is that such a big calculator, they did not have a, a dedicated home button, but with the 89 titanium and the regular 89, they had a dedicated home button and app as well. But with the Voyage and the 92 Plus, you always have to hit diamond key and home. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. I mean, how hard, how hard could, could it have been like to just put a dedicated home button? I don't know. It's kind of weird. But it is what it is, I guess. This is the 84. What did I name that? 84 plus. Yeah, that's the 84 plus. You also have uh, the 84 uh, silver edition. And uh, since the 84, uh, 84, 83, 83 plus, 84 silver edition, they have the same layout when it comes to the keyboard. They essentially had the same keyboard, everything, just slightly different colors. So uh, these apps just use uh, virtually the same keyboard for all of them, same color, same everything which 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 i don't really mind but uh it can be kind of, I, I guess it would have been uh would have been uh easier if uh we could uh we could get like different colors so we can uh, we, we can know which one we're using you know i think that would have been nice but uh, one way to find out is uh when you first start the calculators or i mean you can always go to the settings and check the uh, the specs of the calculators but uh when you first uh install the uh, uh the calculators and the first boot is gonna show you all the uh, all the information on the screen. I wanna show you that really quick? When if I reset this, yeah, this is a warning. It's gonna clear everything, the memory, whatever. When it first start, do I need to turn around again? I guess so. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do that. What is the on key? Yeah, I get lost sometimes. You see, when you first uh, start the calculus, it shows you the name of it at the very top: TI84 plus 2.55. MP, RAM, F1, whatever, to locate shortcut menu. Okay, so let's just uh, go to a different one. This is the 84 plus silver edition. As you can see, the, the keywords are, are, are pretty much the same, identical. But again, when I reset this one, you will see the name is going to change slightly. When I turn it on, there you go, silver edition. You see? And uh, same with the... Uh, the 83 plus mm, reset one more time turn it on ti 83 plus version 1.19 okay yeah, i had to uh, pause the video uh, really quick uh, also one thing i want to talk to you about is uh uh when you first get this app on the play store it doesn't it's not gonna come with any calculator so you have to get your own uh uh, ROM files and uh, ROM files can be uh, you can have those uh, on, on the internet pretty, pretty, pretty easily you can have uh, all these files on the internet it's fairly easy all you gotta do is just type uh, the name of the calculators you want like uh, TI 89 ROM file ROM file or firmware 
download that's it and uh it's usually going to be uh um, the first links the first five or first three links but you just gotta watch out for unwanted uh software also and the files are pretty uh they're pretty small uh the voyage has uh is the biggest uh, amongst all of them about two or three mega uh, megabyte which is which is fairly small and uh this is how you do it let me uh, go and see if i can demonstrate one so add one file let me just go and add another instances uh this is on my system file i have a folder dedicated to uh, the calculators i named it ti which makes sense to me and there you go so this is what the files names are and uh, I have 89. Let me just go ahead and add a you know, titanium. I just love titaniums. And uh, you can uh, name it. Just gonna put a test 89 titanium. And done. It's gonna ask you to select the calculators. Titanium. Okay. And then you just go back. And uh, it's gonna start the the latest calculators you add. It's, it's, it's just gonna when you go back, it's gonna automatically go to that last one. See, and it's uh, doing the initialization. And I say now I have a brand new calculators that I can I can just uh, do some testing here. And uh, if I'm not happy with it, I can just I can always go back uh, to my uh, real one here, the first one. And one thing I would I want is uh, as you can see uh, when I name the calculators the name does not show up here so you can you you, you can only see the name when you go to a uh, raw manager. Uh oh. Let's see. I thought I named that one test. There you go, test. Huh. Well, it's working fine. I don't know what had happened there, but uh, I guess I'm glad it's working now. Yeah, because that would have been awkward not knowing uh, which one is which. Yeah, but if I'm not happy with the test one, I can always go back to uh, the first one, which is where I do all my operations. And uh, well, uh, that's uh, all I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section.